place to gather where we can have some adult interaction while our kids are being entertained. And it's been tough because a lot of the neighborhood shops are, the space is definitely not a dedicated space. without everybody glaring at us. <laughs> without feeling like we're always disrupting everyone. Yeah. I can't wait. The whole premise of Cafe Au Play is to have this nonprofit coffee house where you have sort of, you know, this nice play area for children, but the actual coffee house is, you know, feels like a typical, wonderful, comfortable adult style coffee house. You know, wouldn't it be great if there were more places out there that you could bring your children into the public sphere? The focus isn't about the business, it's more about the mission of what you're trying to do, and that's bring families together to create sort of this support system that's so crucial. At this time, Cafe Au Play does not have its own physical location, so we are currently fundraising to make that happen. In 2006, uh, the board decided to organize a pilot project called On the Road with Cafe Au Play at six different local coffee houses in Portland. The response was tremendous, drawing on average 100 families per event and really getting out there the idea that we want to be in a coffee house, we want to have activities happening for adults and for children, and we want the multi-generational community. What we're doing here is really at the heart and soul of community development. This idea of working with uh, neighborhoods and uh, citizens to sort of uh, take uh, ownership of their neighborhoods, and take ownership of the kind of spaces that are in their neighborhoods. Many years ago, there, there used to be a gas station down here at this corner site. Then in the 1980s, a family bought it to open this drive through Wake Up Deli. Everybody thought, wow, this is great, finally a coffee shop we can all go to. But then immediately he put up these big signs, Marlboro, you know, cigarettes. So he was selling cigarettes right across from the elementary school. And then after a long period of time, suddenly then federal agents and the county agents swept down on the site and arrested him. And he'd been importing pseudoephedrine in small bottles from uh, Canada and then packaging those into larger bags and then selling them to meth labs in the area to make methamphetamine. Uh, so they arrested him and there was lots of hoopla about that and then we started that process of saying how can we, is there a way for us to get ownership of the site if the government seizes it? And the U.S. Attorney's Office was wonderful in working with us to really just beat down the doors to find some mechanism that could be used for that. So very early on we had a big community meeting, I think we had 70 people there, where we actually went through a process. We gave background but then had breakout groups and had them say, what is it that you would love to see at this site? And what would you hate to see happen here? And out of that, we were really able to pull out um, what people wanted was a place to gather. The key thing is what the community wanted for the site. I think turning it from an eyesore into a real community place and amenity was, has, has always been kind of the driving force. The other thing that people have long envisioned is, is turning sort of a paved parking area into some kind of environmental model, something that could communicate how can we develop this in a way that enhances both the social community but the environmental community at the same time. LEAD is Leadership and Energy and Environmental Design and it was developed by the United States Green Building Council really to establish a standard for sustainable or green building. LEAD kind of helps push you towards a life cycle analysis that makes the, the care and maintenance of a building as energy efficient and low impact as possible. The phase one scope will include the transformation of the gas station structure into the, the Cafe Au Play coffee house. So we're removing all the asphalt. Uh, it will include the transformation of, of the building in terms of opening up with new windows and and lots of transparencies, uh, creating the, uh, the south-facing trellis uh, that's for the farmer's market, and filters daylight coming into the coffee shop. All of that will be uh, completed in phase one. So the goal is when phase one is completed, the project is full. 
The addition of uh, phase two will include a large meeting area that could seat up to 100 people. It's 1,600 square feet. When we think about the opportunity for a yoga class or a seminar. One of the innovative parts of the project is the fact that we're going to take a stormwater runoff that comes from adjacent streets and treat it within the property itself. And then we're going to create like a waterfall, kind of a, a, a beautiful sort of accent as it as it goes, as it cascades down from that runnel into the main stormwater treatment area, which is in the center of the site. We're out here with a group of um, participants in our program, which is a seven-week pre-apprenticeship class that we offer for free to help get women high-skill, high-wage careers in the construction trades. To me, it's the, the ultimate definition of what community is about, bringing together so many different organizations and um, helping to get the job done here. Out back, we're actually separating everything out into piles. Everything is attempting to be saved and reused or recycled in some way. Deconstruction is the way. Um, there, it's like everything else in life. Uh, it maybe takes a little more time up front, but um, in the whole picture, in the full cost accounting scheme, it saves you a lot of time. And so the idea would be if you can really make this, you know, a solid nonprofit that's sustainable, you could then help other neighborhood groups create their own version in their own neighborhood. And I think for us in the community, this is more than just about our little community site. This is really about the sense of rebuilding the infrastructure of democracy. Yeah.